Hi friends, welcome back to SMLE team. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Gamfabrozil. This is a drug used as an uh, anti-hyperlipidemic drug. Okay, so it decreases the triglyceride level. I will be discussing in detail. In detail. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, let me start with this. Uh, right now I'm concentrating on step one. So I will be discussing more topics related to step one, uh, step one pharmacology. So it belongs to the fibrates, as you know. Uh, this is an important drug you should know for your USMLE step one examination. The mechanism of action uh, is an activator of uh, peroxisome proliferator activated receptor alpha PPAR alpha, a nuclear receptor that is involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates and the fats as well as adipose tissue differentiation. This increase in the synthesis of lipoprotein lipase thereby increases the clearance of triglycerides. This is how it acts. That's why uh, it is a drug of choice in hyper triglyceridemia. If only triglycerides are increased, then gamfibrosil is the drug of choice. But my dear friends, if cholesterol and triglycerides both are increased, which of the following is the best drug? Tell me. I will answer this at the end of this video. Okay. Um, the effects, it uh, reduces the triglyceride levels, reduces the very low density lipoproteins, that is VLDL levels, modest reduction of uh, low density lipoproteins, that is LDL, and moderate increase in the high density lipoproteins, HDL levels. So you just, not only you should remember like this, uh, triglyceride is increased, uh, re it reduces the triglyceride, it reduces the VLDL, not like this. You should remember that it reduces significantly triglyceride, that's very important point, and reduces uh, VLDL, that's very important. And modest reduction, modest reduction, that's very important uh, in uh, LDL, okay? The adverse effects, uh, it uh, causes uh, GI distress, musculoskeletal pain in the form of myositis, uh, okay, uh, increased incidence of gallstone, very important uh, side effect, hypokalemia and increased risk for cancer. Uh, these are the things you should know and even a rash can be developed, okay. Uh, indications, uh, it is used in the treatment of uh, hyperlipidemia type 3, uh, it's a drug of choice in that and hypertriglyceridemia type 4, gamer uh, Gamfibrozil, uh, though not as effective as niacin, niacin, is better tolerated. Okay, the contraindications and the precaution Gamfibrozil should not be given to these patients. Hepatic dysfunction Gamfibrozil should be used with caution in these higher risk categories. Uh, biliary tract disease because it causes uh, gallstones, renal dysfunction because of the excretion, uh, pregnant woman, obese patient, and Native Americans. Okay. So just uh, read it once again. Okay. The drug interactions are very important. The anticoagulants, um, gamfibrozil potentiates the action of warfarin and uh, um, indenodian uh, anti uh, anticoagulants. Statin drugs, uh, concomitant administration of the fibrates, including gamfibrozil with statin drugs, reduces the risk of muscle cramping. Uh, myopathy and uh, rhabdomyolysis. Okay, these are the important points you should know about uh, gamfibrozil. Um, the other thing what I want to tell you about this, the, the, the question why, what I ask, if the cholesterol is increased and the triglyceride is both are increasing the patient, uh, which is the best drug? The best drug would be statins, remember. Okay, if alone triglycerides are increased, gamfibrozil is the best. Okay, if alone tri uh, cholesterol is increased, cholesteramine is helpful. Okay, that's very important. You should know there are other alternatives. Uh, I will post a video on that. How to which drug should be used in um, hyperlipidemic uh, uh, conditions? Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.